Alrighty, let's start here. There is no sound. Okay, okay, cool. There are a couple things. So I would look at, like I like the inclusion of the, the mask for sure. And he's being careful while he lifts it. What I would pay attention to, like, this feels very even in timing, how this goes up, the window there. It doesn't quite feel like, you know, it's never quite that smooth. And just for contrast of timing, I would have a bit of a move and then you can stop a bit. And then he can look around and then he can continue to go back up with maybe that last head turn there. And then watch out. That's a bit fast. I'll be careful. This feels very IKA. Your wrist is totally broken here. I'm not sure how you would move your wrists around. I mean, at that point, I get it. It's just rotated down like this. But to go from this where your thumb is like that and you rotate... I don't know, that feels really broken. Also, it's very straight pathwise. That means it's an IK arm. So you have to kind of still look at what would an FK arm do and look at the the arcs in there. But he could do this, let go. I like that he kind of looks up there a little bit to check, but then you can have a bit of a drop and then an arc down like this potentially. Again, this feels a bit broken how far that elbow is in like this. And then again, we got a crazy wrist rotation here. That makes no sense into that unless i'm let me act this out if i'm like this and my left thumb is like that you can't see me though and now i am like i can't uh, that seems uh, maybe it's me but this seems totally wrong also watch out for silhouette it would be neat to i don't know if there's enough room but maybe you can get him a bit more over there with something like this so you can still stay like this so we have a bit of a view of that arm so it's not just kind of this coming out here Worst case, you can always have that arm outside the window. It's just holding on to something outside. We don't know quite yet what it is. And then you can bring it in. There are, there are different ways to do that. And I think you could have that arm. Maybe, you know, maybe it comes from the outside and holds up here. Just for some asymmetry. This feels a bit too twins at that point. I the general note is always watch out for straight pass with an IK arm. You got that wrist that pops over one frame there. And then it feels like we're already easing in everywhere. The root is easing in, the foot easing in down, while foot is off, arm is off. There's nothing holding him in, in place here. So he would technically flump down here, and then have that compression there. So watch out that from a mechanics point of view, you can't have him float in the air and then ease in. That makes it just a bit too magical and then again spacing watch out you got your arm that kind of your wrist that pops in then the arm pops to the right and then pops to the left the silhouette's kind of wonky we don't understand the structure there of that arm so you would have it either elbow out or elbow in to show that same thing here i'll probably keep this out arm like this just because we don't want too much of an overlap there you have so much negative space here we can play with that a bit more same thing with just these kind of poses and then watch out when you have something where the whole body moves together. You got arms, body, head, all moving over. Versus, you know, what if he's careful and he would maybe move the head first and then the rest of the body goes with it. Also careful when you turn around like this. This feels a bit far out in terms of how far that, that knee is. I would probably bring it in a bit more. Now, when the window goes down, boom. That's okay to react like this. I mean, you can totally have a reaction where it's more like, oh, like a quick thing, hold and then turn. But that's totally fine to do that. Just watch out for your silhouette. Again, that, that arm is not kind of lost. We just have a wrist towards us. And then you get a little tangent there as you rest that arm there. Again, it feels a bit, almost a bit default. Like what will be your stressed out pose? Because now he is shocked nervous surprised whatever it is and you show that with your pose so are the hands are gonna go arms up with this like that is he all nervous is he putting on his head is he putting it out is he just kind of sloppy like oh, really is he just kind of annoyed at it like this is your moment to show any type of character traits and personality there 
Then this gets a bit wonky. You turn around somewhat slowly. Again, we're very default here and mirrored. And then it's kind of the look and then over. Now, you might argue, okay, as an artist going, something must be happening because he's looking at the door and now he's leaving. And now we're seeing this. It's fine. I'm just not sure if that's pushing the, the drama, the tension or anything as far as possible. And I don't know if you want to move that first. Maybe this goes down slowly and that makes him get out of there. I do like how he gets out, but I will give this a couple more frames. If you watch him, he goes, eh, eh, and out and cut it out. So before we cut out so quickly, I will give this a couple more frames. But again, here, I do like that lean into that turn. But once we hear, it kind of feels a bit twin and defaulty. You could have something where maybe one leg is up or is a bit more sideways, or you can get a bit of a, a different pull in terms of the line of action. It's a bit more contrast. Again, you're doing kind of the same and ends up being very mirrored there. So like something a bit more original. Maybe again, personality traits. Like, is he how freaked out is he? Is he now clumsy? You know, like this is again the moment where you can do something a bit a bit stronger at that point. And the thing with her, it's kind of like, uh, like why like what kind of opening is this? She seems what either in a dress or a nightgown? Is she sleepy? You know, is this something where you can just show maybe the door's opening even more and she's just really sleepy? Maybe she still has like her night mask on or something. Like this feels a bit, I would say random. And it's good that we're having something now here and it adds to the tension with this. But I think this is ripe for more potential comedy or drama or tension or something where I feel like we can push this a bit more. Now, of course, this is all very subjective, but um, that's what you signed up for. <laughs> I'll give you my... Subjective opinions plus some uh, mechanics notes. So even like when he jumps here, on a jump, you want a full extension on the legs. And right now we're bent. It already gets off the ground. It's, it's more like he's rolling off this. I mean, you might argue, okay, he's just putting the weight over the arms and the arms are used to push him forward. It just feels a bit like, it feels more like someone's pulling him almost. Watch out, you got overextended IK legs there. And then it gets spacing wise, you go from here to here to here. And then suddenly down versus continuing that arc. So watch out spacing, watch out asymmetry. So there's a bunch of stuff you still need to tweak in there. Alrighty, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.